Hi and welcome to Basement Projects. This is the tail light of a motorcycle. Problem is, this part here is broken. And those are the holes for the screws that hold this tail light in place. So today I will try to repair it and find a solution to keep those parts from breaking. I found a solution for the problem. This is a sleeve for a flexible cable and it doesn't fit but it's just an example. I will machine such a thing out of stainless steel to put it over it, to glue it together so this sleeve will then prevent the plastic from cracking and it will even repair such a cracked hosing. The only problem is, this wall thickness needs to be really thin. This part here goes through a rubber seal, so the outer diameter needs to stay nearly the same. So the wall thickness should be around 0.2, maybe 0.3 millimeter. Here I'm using a piece of 12 millimeter round stock. I'm just using the four jaw chuck because it was already mounted and I'm liking it quite a lot. I don't have a rima in the size I needed, so I'm just using a small carbide boring bar to get to my final dimension. it off at a specific length. I'm just using my DRO, touch it on the surface Let's try it out. Hmm. 
looking good so far. I just need to shorten the sleeve a little bit and then turn the outside diameter. Those are the parts that I parted off. They are too thin and too small to put back in the chuck. So I'm going to use this piece of brass to make a mandrel, glue this part on it and machine it until it's finished. Some cleaning with alcohol. And then we will use some good quality glue. Now we will let it dry. The glue is fully cured now and I will start machining the outside diameter. It's important to keep the part rather cool because the glue will get soft when it gets too hot. For turning the outside diameter I'm using the self-made carbide tool. The next step is to bring this piece to its final length.
After getting to the right length, I'm just using some emery paper for the finish. For the finish that's more than enough. And to get this part off I'm just using a heat gun to get rid of the glue. It's time to clean the inside with a little bit of sandpaper. Just enough to get rid of the glue. This was the broken side and the new sleeve is already pressed on. It fits perfectly and puts enough pressure on it to keep the plastic from moving away when a new screw is used. Looking good so far. That's it for the video. Bye and thanks for watching.